have a quick review for you guys today. Don't mind my insane hair, as usual. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. This one is in Sunkissed. I've already done a review on the other one, so if you haven't already, go check that out. Um, this one looks like this. One of the things I do really like about this is that it has shade names on the back. So you've got, this one is Starlight, that one is Sun, this one is uh, Saturn, and then that one over there, the brownish one is Dawn. No, that one's Saturn and this one's Dawn, sorry, I'm having a moment. These are all really pretty. This is the darker looking palette, but I was able to get all of these to work on my skin tone, no problem. I actually got this darkest one, Saturn, on my cheeks today, if you can see that. Um, I love how these look. They're really pretty. Um, I go a little bit crazy with them, and they turn out like this, so you could definitely do these a lot more natural. They're a touch pricey for the drugstore, but it's not horrendously bad. I don't remember exactly the price. I'll try and list this down in the description. Um, but yeah, I really like these. It's a nice formula. The colors are nice. They work nicely on my skin, which is extremely pale. Um, don't have a whole ton to say. It's just a quickie review, but I used my Milani highlighter brush and my Wet n Wild Unicorn highlighter brush on these to give you an idea. And it does show you how you could do like a whole blushy contour thing with all of these, but I mean these are highlighters so that would be very shimmery. Not so much my thing, but again you can kind of see it on my cheeks today. Um, yeah, overall these are really good. I would recommend yeah. them. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Check out that other video. And um, if you've tried this, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or opinions, or even if you haven't tried it, questions. I'm not awake yet. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!